General Hospital is your local full-service medical facility. A newly remodeled nursery can greet your newborn. The CT scan can perform numerous diagnostic tests. A fully equipped emergency room can meet those immediate needs. Newly remodeled waiting areas, wellness center, physical therapy, and rehab can keep you in the game of life. Call 601-735-5151. After a week away from action, Wayne County High School's varsity football team opens District 4-5A action Friday night as the Tigers of Hattiesburg High School pay a visit to War Eagle Stadium. Kickoff between the 2-2 two two War Eagles and the 1-3 Tigers scheduled for 7 p.m. on Friday. Hattiesburg lost their first three games of the season but were able to rally in the second half last week to beat Jefferson Davis County 28-27. Head coach Shelton Gandy says the Tigers are still a dangerous team and they are the defending district champion. And if the War Eagles want to have a chance at that number one seed, they need to beat the defending champion. Gandy said he was able to work with his team on various things during the open date last week, including spending some time in the weight room and more importantly, getting some players healed up and ready for the seven-game stretch that is district play. Of course, the top four finishers in the district advance to postseason play, something Gandy said he wants to see his team do again this year. Again, kickoff between the Tigers and War Eagles, 7 p.m. on Friday. Football means grilling and Gatlin Building Supply has you covered. Stop by and check out the new Traeger grills available and while you're there pick up all your charcoal, wood chips and other accessories for tailgating. Be sure and take a look at the Blackstone 36 inch griddle cooking station with enough space to fill up and keep happy any tailgating team. Stop by 57 Woodward Switch Road today to get your grill on at Gatlin. Coach, you were off last week. What were you able to accomplish during that open week? I think the biggest thing was to get some guys healed up, you know, and uh, we got a chance to get back in the weight room, the weight room hard. And uh, it wasn't, uh, we didn't bang them as, you know, as much as I would like to, but, you know, you, you got to get them healthy going into district play, and that's, you know, that was our whole objective. And, of course, the district starts this week. It's the seven-week run. Right. Do you tell your kids, hey, everybody's zero and zero? How do you reset this thing? Well, you, you know, you you got you to gotta look at it as, as we look at it as in, in, in thirds. You know, that first third is those first four games is kind of filling out and uh, preseason. You know, the, the, it's good to win those. But now, these you know, this second third, we've got to be really good. Uh, in order to get to the last phase, which is the playoffs, and so we, you know, it's uh, we're going to build momentum from here. Hattiesburg may be a little down this year compared to the last couple of years, but still got a lot of speed and can hurt you, can't they? Yeah, they do. They are. They've got a kid number fifteen, and, and uh, a kid that uh, I think he transferred maybe from North Forest. He's a you know really fast kid, and they find ways to get the ball in his hand. Uh, you know, like I said, defense they might. You know, they're not as talented as they were last year, but, you know, hey, these, this is a pretty good team, and, and uh, they've won, they've lost two games, in, you know, uh, in the last two years. So uh, you expect their best. You know, they're the defending dis district champion, and we got to be ready for them. What, uh, what are the keys to winning on Friday night? You know, uh, defensively, we can't give up big plays. You know, we got to find out where number 15 is. Uh, he's that playmaker. On uh, offense, uh, offense, we got to be consistent and you know run the run the football, and we got to uh, be able to throw it and, and make some explosive plays in the passing game. All right, good luck on Friday, Coach. Thank you. If you're wanting to get in shape and healthy, Wayne General Hospital's Wellness Center can do just that for you. We have the machines and staff to be able to support any goal you want to invest in yourself. We can set you up with a workout plan for you to be able to achieve. 
If you prefer aerobics or dance classes, we have them throughout the week for you to participate in. Come and get healthy with us at Wayne General Hospital or call us at 601-735-7167. Wayne Academy's Jaguars open district play Friday night by traveling to Louisiana to take on Bowling Green in a 7 o'clock game on Friday night. Bowling Green undefeated on the year, the Jaguars 2-2, two and two, and the Buccaneers have had a potent and explosive offensive attack running away and routing most of its opponents this year. Last year, the Jaguars traveled over to Louisiana and came away with a hard-fought, close loss to the Buccaneers. The Jaguars ended up being the number three seed out of the district for the playoffs and actually went the furthest out of the three teams from the district that qualified for postseason play. Head coach Todd Mangum said his team's offense needs to be an extension of the defense, meaning keeping the ball away from that potent Buccaneers attack. Again, kickoff on Friday night over in Louisiana, scheduled for 7 p.m. Lab Discount Drugs, your locally owned Healthmark Pharmacy, can help you save time and money by coordinating all your prescriptions into one easy monthly pickup. I get my meds the first Tuesday of every month, right after book club. I pick up my medications before cards with the guys. Hey, Lab Discount Drugs, 923 Wayne Street, a Health Mart pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Coach, uh, business picks up this week, district opener against a good Bowling Green squad. Yeah, very good Bowling Green squad. Uh, very uh, very explosive. Uh, you know, re- hadn't really got any common opponents right now that we've played to, to you know, gauge them from, but just looking at stats and, and film and stuff, look like a very explosive team on offense. How do you, how do you control that explosiveness? Well, one thing that we need to do is we need to let our offense be an extension of our defense. We need to keep the ball away from them. We need to, uh, you know, take time off the clock, move the ball, uh, end each drive and a kick, whether it be an extra point or a punt, uh, but we need to be ball control and, and, and keep the ball away from them. Coach, only two district games this year. I mean, and you were in the same situation last year here, but how much pressure, how much importance does that put on this one and the one against Columbia? It's extremely big. Uh, You know, we were sitting here in the same boat last year and everything, and, you know, uh, it's kind of odd that we bring that up. All three of us made the playoffs, and we were the number three team and actually advanced further in the playoffs than Bowling Green and Columbia. Uh, but uh, we would love to, you know, uh, go into that thing, uh, winning our region, winning these two games, and, and being the, the number one seed as far as our region is concerned, and, uh, you know, getting those power points to, to uh, help, our, help us in the playoffs. All right. Good luck on Friday, Coach. Thank you. Get your day started off right at Classic Sandwich and Coffee Shop, located on Wayne Street next to Lab Discount Drugs. From croissants, breakfast plates, coffees, mochas, rolls, other sweets, we get your day started off on the right foot at Classic Sandwich Shop. Stop by today to see the wide selection being offered every morning at Classic Sandwich Shop. That 20th win of the season eluded Wayne County High School's slow pitch softball team on Monday night as the Lady War Eagles won their 19th game of the season against Southeast Lauderdale, but then fell in the nightcap of a doubleheader at home. As it stands, Wayne County right now is 19-3 and on the year, have already clinched a district title, meaning they'll be a number one seed when postseason play begins on Saturday, October 5th. The Lady War Eagles will host that best of three series 
all in one day. WCHS remains home on Thursday night, going to play Harrison Central in a doubleheader, and that will also be senior night as the War Eagles or Lady War Eagles will honor the seniors on this year's team. Uh, the doubleheader expected to start around 6 o'clock, a JV game going to be played right before the varsity contest. Come into Gatlin Building Supply and get our top-of-the-line tools. We have brands from Craftsman, Irwin, Stanley, and much more. We have outdoor equipment that will improve the lawn or garden around any area. We have every size of nut, bolt, or bit size throughout the store. No matter what the task is, we have the equipment to get the job done. Visit us at Gatlin Building Supply on 57 Woodward Switch Road and get started today. Wayne Academy softball team saw a successful year come to a close last Saturday as the Lady Jaguars fell in the 3A South State Tournament that was played at the University of Louisiana Monroe. The Lady Jaguars dropped an opening game to Riverfield Academy, bounced back in the loser's bracket by beating Canton Academy before falling in an elimination game to Tri-County. The Lady Jaguars still had a successful season under head coach Richie Anderson. Medicare drug plans change every year. At Lab Discount Drug, your locally owned Healthmark Pharmacy, we make understanding your prescription coverage simple so you can pick the right plan, saving you more money for the things you love. Our pharmacist helped us understand our Medicare Part D insurance, saving money for more date nights. My prescription savings all go to this guy. That's Lab Discount Drugs, 923 Wayne Street, Health Mart, caring for you in about. Wayne County High School's volleyball team continued its winning ways this week, traveling up to Quitman on Monday and coming away with a three-game match victory over the Lady Panthers. Now the Lady War Eagles hit the meat of their schedule as on Thursday they travel to West Jones for a key district game. Earlier this season, West Jones came over to WCHS and needed five games plus a fifth game that went to six deuces before coming away with the win. Then on Tuesday, the Lady War Eagles travel to South Jones for another key district game as they battle for one of two playoff spots in postseason play. Wayne General Hospital's physical therapy is dedicated in helping you recover from any injury. Our physical, occupational, and speech therapies work hard in guiding your recovery. Our staff is now assisting patients with lymphedemia and swallowing. Our therapists offer dry needling as a new method of healing. We are ready to help you and achieve a speedy recovery. Come to Wayne General or call us at 601-735-7114. There will be plenty of middle school action th Thursday night as nearly all of the teams in the county will be facing off against competition. Beat 4 travels to Dixie for a 6 o'clock game. Buckatuna and Clara are going to square off in a 7th grade game at 6 p.m. And then Waynesboro Riverview will travel down to Leakesville to take on the Singing River Conference le leading Bears of Leakesville Middle School, that also a 6 p.m. game. Then coming up on Monday, sub-varsity action, we'll see Wayne County High School's freshman and JV host Oak Grove. Freshman going to kick it off at 6, JV going to play right around 7.30 after the conclusion of the freshman contest. 